Hello, Yorktown. It's Supervisor Matt Slater coming to you from Town Hall. It is Monday, April 13th. I'm joined by our Highway Superintendent, Dave Paganelli. Yep. Uh, we've got two updates for everybody that we wanted to share with you. Uh, well, first off, we're going to start with our COVID-19 update. I want to apologize for being early today. Uh, the reason we're early and not our traditional 6 o'clock time is because uh, we're going to be preparing for our first town board meeting, our work session meeting, uh, which takes place tomorrow night. And so we will be doing uh, some tests on some of our technology uh, at the 6 o'clock hour. So we're here early. But some updates on COVID-19. Uh, today, the number stands at 282 for the town of Yorktown. That's an increase of 18 since Saturday. Westchester County is at 19,786 total confirmed, which is an increase of 473. The state of New York now stands at 195,031, which is an increase of 6,337. Uh, earlier today, just before coming on, I was on a conference call with the County Executive George Latimer. He provided some uh, really uh, great insight and, and numbers that I also want to share with everybody. Uh, currently, there are 1,194 uh, individuals hospitalized in Westchester County. We have 3,000 beds in Westchester County. Uh, so right now, we are not at a max capacity level, uh, which, is, which is fantastic. Uh, not so not fantastic, and, and tragically, uh, we all know that we have lost a number of people in the Westchester County uh, community and here in Yorktown. Uh, Westchester County's uh, rate is now at 567 deaths. Uh, we have not heard of any updates here in Yorktown, so we believe that number remains at approximately six. Uh, but Westchester now has 567 deaths. Um, to put it into perspective, that is a 3% fatality of all positive cases. Again, 3% fatality rate of all positive cases. For those who continue to watch uh, Governor Cuomo, who I, I, again, want to thank and commend for doing just an absolutely tremendous job during this crisis, uh, we believe that we are now at a plateau, but a plateau does not equate to a decrease. We're not decreasing the spread at this point in time. I think we need to be very clear on that. We're just holding our own. So we need to continue on our current path. How do we know that it's worked? I've gotten this question uh, quite a few times from, from folks, and I'm going to provide some information for you. So Yorktown is 4% of the total population of Westchester County. So we therefore expect it to be 4% of the total cases in Westchester County. As I said earlier, there are 19,786 cases that have been confirmed in Westchester. So 4%, we would expect to be at about a 791 confirmed cases. Today, today, we are at 282. And I understand a lot of that has to do with testing, but I think it's pretty clear that we have had a massive, significant impact on flattening the curve in our community. And so on behalf of the entire town board and the entire town of Yorktown. I want to thank all of our residents for their sacrifice and for adhering to the parameters that we've put forward, because clearly uh, we've done, a, a, I think, a tremendous job in flattening the curve here in our community. And what does this mean? It means we saved lives, and it was a team effort. But we have to continue it, like I said earlier. We must stay the, cor we must stay the course. We're going to continue to make database decisions, and we're going to continue to work with all of our partners in government. Again, uh, from the governor uh, to County Executive George Latimer to our board of legislators and uh, my fellow mayors and supervisors. And again, uh, we have been in touch with the federal government as well, uh, including the White House. But we will continue to work together in a nonpartisan manner to continue to save lives. So here in town hall, uh, it does remain closed to the public. Our drop box remains outside uh, for anyone who needs to drop off any documents. All of our town buildings remain closed because we're staying on the path that we are currently on. But we are slowly, I want to emphasize, slowly beginning to look at life after pause is lifted. We have a couple of initiatives that we've already started to work on. Uh, we have a re Reboot Yorktown task force that we're putting together. That's going to focus on how we can 
jumpstart our local economy, support our Main Street businesses. We have a financial impact that we all know uh, we're going to face. And I want to thank our entire finance team uh, for their incredible work, especially our comptroller, Pat Caporell, uh, who's just been uh, incredible uh, with how much information that they've continued to pour over and analyze. Uh, uh, Pat and I spent Thursday and Friday with all of our department heads, and uh, we identified nearly $4 million uh, in savings uh, through deferment uh, or possible cuts that, uh, that we will be uh, looking to explore. Uh, so the town is continuing to tighten its belt, um, e expecting for a fiscal hit. We have an infrastructure impact. And again, we have Highway Superintendent Paganelli here. Uh, number one on the list remains the Mohegan Avenue retaining wall. Uh, I said early on, April 1st, and if we didn't have this uh, crisis on our hands, it would have been April 1st. Uh, but we continue to, we actually spoke today yes. uh, with the contractors who have been very, very understanding and supportive, uh, and we are still optimistic uh, that at some point, hopefully not too distant future, that we will, in fact, begin that process. Yep. And then, of course, like I said earlier, our town board, uh, and our town board members have been fantastic. Uh, they've been uh, rolling up their sleeves, helping every which way they can, uh, every one of them, and I've been in touch with every one of them, and uh, I couldn't be more proud to serve on, on, on the board that I am on right now. And so tomorrow is our first work session. Uh, it'll be a Zoom work session, so you can uh, watch it online uh, on, our, uh, on our website. And I believe we're also going to have it on both of our government access channels. Uh, but we'll, we, we will be having our first work session tomorrow with the town board. But when we get off pause is determined by our choices. And so we have to continue social distancing. We have to continue scrubbing our hands, we have to continue utilizing that hand sanitizer and making the right decisions, not just for yourself, but for your family, your friends, and for your neighbors. It doesn't change. We still need to be compassionate neighbors, we still need to be thoughtful neighbors, and the numbers are showing it's working, but it's not time to quit. So we have to stick with the program. Uh, yesterday I extended the state of emergency for the town of Yorktown. And that now uh, is set to expire on May 12th. Ironically, it's my wife's birthday. Uh, our parks, our past, or excuse me, our active parks remain closed. The uh, conversations, though, are beginning about the future of our pools and summer camps. And we are uh, working with our partners, again, on the county and state level uh, to, to see what they advise about the use of our pools and camps. And again, over the weekend, uh, public-private golf courses were closed by Governor Cuomo. Lastly, I want to touch on I want to touch on taxes. Now, I have been getting more phone calls about taxes. An update on on that situation. The tax deadline for the town of Yorktown remains April 30th. The town of Yorktown does not have the authority to extend our own tax deadline. Uh, we do not have the authority uh, to reduce penalties and fees. However, the Board of Legislators are posed. To, are poised to uh, pass, hopefully, legislation on Friday that would reduce the penalties and fees uh, to the following. It's a half a percent for the month of May, 1 percent for the month of June, and 1.5 percent uh, for July 1st to July 15th. And those are all significant reductions in penalties and fees. On March 31st, uh, on behalf of our entire town board, I had uh, penned a letter to Governor Cuomo. That letter is on our website uh, requesting additional flexibility with regards to tax extensions and tax deadlines, and we continue to work closely with all of our partners in government uh, to provide as much relief as we can to those who are financially impacted by this ongoing pa pandemic. But again, the deadline remains April 30th, and I just need to emphasize for those who can pay, it really is important for you to pay. Otherwise, we're going to be put in a position where the town is going to be forced into a, sh a, a borrowing situation which only hurts us in the long run. And so we all understand and recognize uh, the perils that we're facing. We all understand and recognize the hardships that many of us are going through. But for those who are able to submit their taxes 
uh, through the town. And again, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it online through an electronic check, uh, which has no surcharge. You can do it on your credit card, which does have a 3% sur surcharge. That surcharge is not dictated by the town. It is dictated by a third-party purveyor. Uh, you could drop off your payments right in front of town hall at the drop box, which is checked regularly by our staff, or you can mail it in. Uh, you have multiple options to do so, and if you have any questions, you can call us here right at town hall, and that number is 914-962-5722. You can call my direct extension, which is extension 200, or you can always email me at mslater at yorktowny.org. And with that, I want to pass it over. This is not the only thing that our town is facing today. Uh, we had some pretty rough, rough uh, weather earlier, and I, and I have the, Easy the, man, winter. the man himself. <laughs> spring. The man himself. He's a little scruffy, a little dirty. Yeah, he's been please chop, forgive me. <laughs> chopping trees down all over town. But why don't you give us a quick update on, on the situation from this So morning. we did have um, a bit of weather um, today, and we've um, removed 38 trees, opened up 38 roads that were closed. Um, currently, we have 22 roads that are still impacted either by live wires or by t trees tangled up in wires. We are very familiar with three um, na neighborhoods, um, Osceola, um, Lakeview, up off of Perry Street, that some residents are you know, housebound because we cannot open those roads until those two particular roads are um, Con Edison. Um, also, Hayes Community, down off 129, um, very important. So we've been working very closely with our police department, who always does a great job of, you know, of working with us to prioritize what we're out there, you know, as much as anyone, to see what needs to get opened up first in case we have any emergencies that we need to be able to get through those roads. Um, we have three crews on, um, cut and clear crews. So we've, like I, as I said, we've taken down countless trees, opened up countless neighborhoods, and we will stay with it. We are still awaiting an arrival from um, NYSIG line crews as well as Con Ed, cut and clear crews. Um, NYSIG had three hours ago um, told me someone was on the way, and, you know, glad I didn't wait around, you know. <laughs> um, gave them my cell phone and haven't heard from them. So, uh... you know, we're... we're you know, it's Yorktown. We're doing our thing. And, you know, shout out to the PD. Shout out to the men and women of the highway department that are out there. But most importantly, when we're dealing with this kind of weather and it's raining a lot and there are lots of wires down, bear in mind, you wouldn't jump in a bathtub with a toaster plugged in. in. Right, right. So we don't know what wires are live, what wires aren't live. So it's best to avoid all wires if they're down. Avoid stepping in any water that the wires might be you know, conducting through, you know, we have to stay safe. We, um, we're dealing with enough and, you know, we want our residents to stay safe within the realm of what we have the capability of. And I just uh, checked online and right now, according to the NYSEG website, we have six, uh, 1,765 outages and that's out of about 6,500 residents and Con Ed's reporting just under 2,000 of our 8,000 residents without service. Uh, so that's, uh, we haven't heard any ETAs from Con, um, from NYSIG, from but NYSIG. Con, Edison, Con Edison is saying 11 o'clock. I, yeah. I would say that would be very optimistic on what we're seeing out there. And a lot of that has to do with the wind, correct? Yes, because, they can't put their bucket trucks up. Right, so I just want to make sure folks at home understand that. Uh, the bucket trucks, if it's a 40-mile-an-hour gust, and I just saw one come through and, and shake one of the signs, parking signs outside. Uh, when we see gusts north of 40 miles an hour, the crews, it's unsafe for the crews to get in their bucket trucks and, and, and raise up. Uh, so that's part, in large part, the delay. Yes. We, we have to wait for the wind to die down to make sure that uh, those who are uh, coming to help our community and repair the lines uh, aren't put in a dangerous situation. So it's Correct. safety first. Yep. And it's not just Yorktown. You know, it's the Correct. whole northern Westchester. I can't speak to southern Westchester, but many of the other highway departments are in the same predicament. So, yes. you know. And we were on we were on conference calls this morning with both utility companies. Uh, I know there's one scheduled for tomorrow morning with Con Edison. Yes. Uh, so we continue to uh, be on top of the situation. Our highway superintendent continues to be on top of the situation. And I know our police chief uh, continues to send almost hourly text messages with updates as well. So uh, we're doing all we can on the local level, uh, but I, as, the super, as the superintendent said, uh, it also comes down to your decisions and making sure that you're staying safe and avoiding any dangerous circumstances or dangerous conditions. Right. Currently, um, we have Baptist Church Road closed. 
um, at number 1250. So best not to drive all the way up there from Hunter Brook and turn around. Mm -hmm. We have Ridge Street by Elizabeth closed at this point. There's no through traffic on Elizabeth. And um, Windmill is closed with live wires down. Um, we cleared um, a couple of trees on Windmill right next to each other. One came down this morning. The other one came down about two hours ago. So, yes, I mean, you know, give it a little extra time. If, indeed, you have to be out right. for whatever, you know, imperative reason that might be, you know, just leave a little extra time because there will be a lot of detours. Yeah, perfect. You know, so, so listen, tell everyone in your department we said thank you. Thank you. It's a tremendous job they're doing. and. Um, and, uh, again, we are doing this a little shorthanded considering. Yes, we're working with 50% staff. 50% of our staff. Yes. So uh, it's just a, a big, again, thank you from the town board and the town of Yorktown for your efforts and for your staff's efforts. Uh, and for the folks at home, again, uh, just be patient. We're working on it. And, unfortunately, uh, the highway superintendent controls a lot of things, but not the wind. Not the wind. <laughs> the weather. I don't control the weather. And thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your updates. You know, they're – it's very important, I think, for our residents to have some sense of, you know, a cont continuity of information that they can count on. I appreciate so we, that. Well, we, it's a team effort. We you appreciate know that. that. Well, it's you a know. team effort, and, and it's been uh, uh, a very trying time, but I think that our team, and I say that with all sincerity, uh, we have a great team in the town of Yorktown. The people of the town of Yorktown should rest easy uh, knowing that we have a superior team, we have great staff, uh, and everyone's rolled up their sleeves and has gone above and beyond in this situation for the people of Yorktown. So it's a team effort, but I appreciate the kind Thank words. You. Thank you. Thanks. So just the last uh, couple of things for folks at home. Uh, uh, the governor did sign an executive order uh, today regarding masks for essential employees who interact with the public. So you'll be seeing more of those when you go out into public. And as a reminder, please only do that if you absolutely must. Uh, I also want to uh, let folks know who have recovered from COVID-19, that the New York Blood Center is uh, actually collecting uh, uh, convalescent plasma. And there is a form online. So anyone, uh, this is all part of the antidote uh, process. So if you have recovered from COVID-19 and you're willing to donate uh, plasma through the New York Blood Center, please go online. Uh, you can sign up right on their website, right on the form. Um, uh, again, if you had a positive test and your symptoms have been gone for 14 days and you're willing to donate, this is uh, a very important step for us uh, to really unpause the state of New York and this country, but it starts with uh, uh, doing our part. And so for those who, who have resolved from COVID-19, please consider doing this. It would be great for so many people in our community. And the last thing I just also want to remind folks is your library cards. Uh, it seems so simple, uh, but we all, it's a dark day out there. It's a rainy day out there. Uh, but if you get your library card, and you can get it online now, thanks to the John C. Hart Library staff, it really does unlock uh, so much uh, entertainment right at your fingertips uh, from ebooks to movies to music and so on and so forth. So please visit their website. There's a link on the town's website uh, as well as both Facebook pages. And you can get your library card right online. It's good for six months. Uh, and then you can go and enjoy a whole host of activities to keep you busy during uh, the New York on pause. So with that being said, again, if you have any questions, you can always call here at Town Hall, 914-962-5722, extension 200. That's my direct line. Or you can email me directly at mslater at yorktowny.org. And as always, we will continue to provide verified information to you, the public. Until then, stay safe, stay he healthy, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.